1990, my mom and my siblings and I were forced to flee from Kuwait to Denmark because of the Gulf War. I remember not fully understanding why we came to Denmark, but it was a new opportunity and adventure. I remember just, you know, feeling the snow for the first time and learning how to ride a bike. It was very, very exciting. But everything was new to me. A different culture, a different environment, a different people. It wasn't easy to, to start a new life in a new country, but with help from kind people, I stand here today. With a small effort, we can all help the immigrants and make it easier to, for them to integrate into the Danish society. My curiosity gave me the advantage and energy to learn quickly. I remember it was just very, very, very irritating to not understanding what people were talking about. And it was very important for me to learn the Danish language. I worked hard and was humble and grateful that I got additional lessons by my teacher, Nina who sat with me alone in a classroom and repeated the Danish uh, alphabets to, to, ha to have a good pronunciation. We especially practiced the three Danish vowels, A, Ø, O, endlessly. <laughs> Later on, I became so good that I started to help others, my neighbors, three children, and, and I had my mom as an inspiration because she has always managed to have the time and energy to help others. My parents are from Somalia. I'm born in Kuwait, but I feel Danish in many ways. I speak all three languages and blend all three cultures, and it's important to me to show young Somalis that they can be part of this society and that they can have a job and there's opportunities. Now I'm building bridges to the Danish society, encouraging the Somali people to take part in the community. I currently work at the Immigrant Women's Center as a project manager for a project called uh, Somali Mothers Building Bridge. The idea of this project came from an elder Somali mother who had the vision of engaging young Somalis to help their own people to be part of the Danish society. With the help and support of the Immigrant Women's Center, the project is now implemented. 18 built, uh, bridge builders in different parts of Copenhagen are empowering uh, the Somali mothers and their families. We as bridge builders know how to understand and um, the, the ways of thinking. We can build understanding uh, and communication between a teacher and a Somali parent. I know that some people do not consider me as a modern Danish Somali woman because of my Somali appearance, but I perceive myself as being one because I'm able to take the positive bits of each culture and blend them so they fit in my own culture. That's why I consider myself being a modern one and that's why, and that's what I want to pass it on to other children, my own children, and the Danish Somalis in this society. My goal is to make immigrants understand the Danish culture. The help I got made me to be active and invest in helping others. Anyone can do this. It just starts with the thoughts and results in the actions. It's also possible to you, for you, um, because you are expert in your culture. So join me and pass it on. Thank you very much.